and uh, in course of uh, these naka bandis we have uh, seized around uh, 35000 liters of alcohol in last uh, approximately last one week itself and uh, around uh, one and a half crore uh, of cash uh, with uh, no documents or uh, 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 not enough documents we have uh, attached and uh, given it to the income tax department as we speak there are multiple searches going on in uh, coordination with the income tax department uh, as far as the poll deployment is concerned we have around 24 companies of CAPF uh, who have been deployed in various polling booths and in uh, various QRTs. To be specific, we have around 28 QRTs, which will be working in two shifts, 24 hours, which will be available uh, at all different strategic locations, and which will be available at all uh, different uh, at any any call. They will be available. We have around thousand, more than thousand five hundred policemen. Uh, from Goa police who have been deployed and uh, home guards as well as IRB uh, personnel who have been deployed in various polling booths and, uh, uh, and, uh, and certain reserve uh, force also at different police stations uh, for any eventualities or any to attend to any incident that uh, might occur uh, from uh, tomorrow. And as far as the vulnerable areas are concerned, we have uh, made huge deployment, heavy deployment in all different vulnerable areas. With these CAPFs, we have been conducting uh, area domination programs. The restriction on the sale of liquor, which will come into force from uh, 5 p.m. of today till uh, midnight of uh, the 5th of February. The second order is uh, in order to maintain the sanctity of the polls in order to maintain the law and order situation in the vicinity of the polling stations. We have barred the opening of any hotels, restaurants, uh, gadhas, etc. in close vicinity to the polling stations. This is to avoid the congregation of people and disturbances that may follow and the possibility of misuse by certain uh, uh, people who are associated with the electoral process. So uh, that order is also in place and uh, the assembly of uh, five or more persons has also been prohibited uh, without, of course, due permission. And uh, there is also restriction on the vehicles which can be used by the candidates. Uh, only the vehicles which have already been permitted for use by the contesting candidates will be allowed to ply on the roads. No other vehicles, uh, no other type of campaign vehicle uh, or any other type of vehicle is permitted. Only the ones which have been officially approved by each and every RO is going to be uh, allowed. There will also be checking of private vehicles in order to uh, ensure that there is no uh, distribution of gifts, money, liquor, etc. But we will. Uh, we have already passed on instructions that this should be done with least inconvenience to the general public. Seizures have uh, happened in the past one and a half weeks. Quite a number of seizures have happened. Daily details uh, were being shared with the media. But I would just like to give a cumulative figure that uh, from the Commercial Taxes Department, uh, we have received the data that about 25 lakh worth goods have been seized over the past uh, many days. This is sweep north. I would like to convey this message. We have had a very, very long campaign of asking people to come out in large numbers and vote and vote ethically. And we would like to keep this message. We have used our icons, uh, used their services to convey this message. And I'm very happy that all of them have come and conveyed the same message. And let this message go to every each and every house for people to come out and vote with the election commissions. Uh, attempt to ensure that even those people who cannot come to the polling booth, they, are, they avail of the services provided by the Election Commission to come out in large numbers and vote. I would also like to take this opportunity to, uh, to profusely thank our icons who have devoted their energy and their time for this noble cause. We all know that the elections are a few hours away.
and uh, we all are deciding whom to vote for and whom not to vote for. But what is most important is to cast your vote. Um, we have uh, the next five years to decide. We have a lot of pressure from what has happened, what might happen, what's going to happen, what we want that it should happen. Uh, but the most important thing and the sole reason we all are here as icons is to ask you all to cast your vote. Because unless you cast your vote, you have not exercised your right, you have not fulfilled your duty. And that is going to result in you having no credibility in the next five years, no way of you asking any question to anybody. Why was this done or not done? So the whole reason we are here is to urge, request, motivate, and uh, hope and wish that all of you come out on the 4th of February this year and cast your vote because that is of utmost importance. Dakshin Gwate, Vechnuke to Bandabasta, Barapaiki Kela. Vechnuke Vedar, Zaptakelo Poiso, and Sorachar, Dakshin Gocha, Espin, Maiti Dili. About the 14 documents which can be used, uh, they include the passport, your PAN card, and uh, Aadhaar card driving license and most of your documents which have a photo can be used. If you see that the list is fully put today in the newspapers, also the IDs come, all the 14 documents what can be used. Generally they are all those government issued or uh, even the SCST certificate which has a photo can be used. Things about the arrangements which we have made to enforce this. As I had already mentioned to you, there were, we are having uh, two flying squad teams which were in each constituency. They are active, they are still in force. Besides that, we are having one assistant, ob uh, assistant expenditure observer team in each constituency, one video surveillance team in each constituency. And also from today, 92 95 sector. 95 sector officers are becoming active. They were there as sector officers earlier, but they were not as magistrates. So they have been confirmed with magisterial powers also. Besides that, we have appointed seven ADMs, senior level officers, who will be looking after each taluka. No, nothing major has uh, come uh, into notice so far. There was so intense calling. Basically peaceful. It has just been uh, some in, uh, some incidents have happened in Mormu Gao recently. Intense politicking. So we have uh, already registered FIRs and cross FIRs. We have registered NCs also, non cognizable offences. And around 45 people against 45 people, we have taken preventive actions as well. So so far uh, the uh, situation is under control. Uh, I'll also add to that. Uh, just about to. Bureau Report Prudent